Netscape Navigator, probably the coolest name ever for a web browser and not one you hear much these days. But Netscape Navigator was very popular in the early days of the web and it was actually the most popular way to explore the internet, at least according to this box. Now it seems pretty silly these days to go to a store and buy a web browser considering all of the free options that we have today. I mean, we have Mozilla Firefox, we have Google Chrome, we have Chrome, we have Chrome, uh, Chrome, Safari, and Chrome. So we have lots of options on the modern browser market, but there wasn't quite as much back then. But the real question is, can this run on Windows 11 and can you actually do anything with it? And the answer to those questions is yes and kinda. So first things first, it's time to vomit out the contents of this box, and there's quite a bit of stuff in it. There's a big honkin' manual, and heaps of long dead offers and subscriptions. However, what we're really after here are these two floppy disks. So let's take these disks over to my test computer, which is a Lenovo L540 laptop with a fresh install of Windows 11 Pro. The best part about this laptop here is it has a superior pointing device, that being this lovely nipple right here. Unfortunately and predictably, I ran into some issues installing from these disks. The first disk worked okay, but the second disk was completely unreadable. I guess 25 years of kicking around in a box wasn't kind to this magnetic media. Thankfully, I was able to find the same 1.22 version of Netscape in the depths of the internet, so no harm done, I guess. Now the only question left to ask is, will Netscape run natively on Windows 11? And uh, no, no, no it doesn't. But this being Windows, there is always a way. So a big shocker to no one, Windows 11 is 64-bit only, so we need the Wine VDM compatibility layer to get it to work. If you don't know about this and like to know more about this program, I did a video on it a while ago, but Basically, it allows you to run 16-bit programs on 64-bit versions of Windows. So it's perfect for what we have here. So with Wine VDM installed, we have a perfectly functional web browser from 1995 running on Windows 11. What can you do with it though? Well, let's find out. So welcome to Netscape Navigator on Windows 11. So what can you actually do on Netscape Navigator on Windows 11? Well, out of the box, uh, this version of Netscape Navigator is pretty outdated and uh, you're not gonna be able to do much. So if we try and go to any modern website here, we're just gonna get met with a bunch of gobbledygook like this uh, because it doesn't support modern web standards like HTTPS or JavaScript or really anything uh, that the modern web uses. So we can get to the old net and we can use uh, Action Retro's frog find to search the internet. But uh, if we click on any website, it's like I said, it's just not going to work. So is this the end though? Well, no, not really, because uh, you, can, you can do some other things with it if you change a few things. So if we go to proxy, now normally you can just type in the old net and type in 1996 or your year as the port and you should be able to browse um, archive.org uh, just through this browser by typing in normal website addresses and it'll bring up you know, the old site from archive.org that this web browser can load. Unfortunately, the old net is not working right now. It's been down since the beginning of October. So we're gonna use an alternative and this is a self-hosted version of the old net basically uh, hosted by me. So this is this is called Time Prox, and I'm just running it on a server in my house. So if I point it to that IP address here, um, and port 3000, uh, we can browse the old net just like we would on the old net, but it's my locally hosted one. And hopefully the old net will be back online soon. So now, now if we are to go to yahoo.com, we will get probably the 1996 yahoo.com like so. And you can click on links and pretty much go wherever you want within the constraints of archive.org. Archive.org, of course, is not perfect either and you're gonna get a lot of dead links uh, here and there. But you can visit some cool old websites and you can even download a few things. Uh, so let's go to download.com. 
Yeah, download.com. I spent a lot of time on this website, and I think a lot of kids who grew up at my time period did, because you could just download games and all kind of stuff. Took forever on dial-up, and obviously this is a lot faster loading than my internet ever was back then, because, yeah, I had dial-up. But yeah, it's fun to browse the old internet. But other than that, um, this version of Netscape isn't going to be able to do too much else. There we go. There is old eBay. I love old eBay. It looks awesome. But anyway, guys, this is Netscape Navigator on Windows 11. Uh, not much you can do with it besides browse uh, the old net. And honestly, there's a lot better ways to browse the old net than to use this. Uh, newer versions of Netscape will work better, or something like Retrozilla will probably load more pages. This particularly has some issues loading some pages, even like uh, this is supposed to be an animated GIF. It doesn't load. Uh, that's a pretty normal, even old web browser thing to be able to load animated GIFs, and this version can't do it, apparently. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.